Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Hunchback 2C. That thing is great because it has very high ballistic hardpoints and we are utilizing it today to go for some mid to long range setup with three Ultra Auto Cannon 5s today. This is a very simple and straightforward setup here and three Ultra Auto Cannon 5s are the maximum of Ultras that you can fire at the same time, the 5 rated weapons, which means a fourth wouldn't even give us any benefits. However, they have a range of about 700 meters with all of the skills and quirks that we have here which means that we can engage very very early and very often as a result our alpha strike is only 15 but if we double tap we get it up to 30 which is respectable and then we're going to do it over and over and over and over again because again we can engage early because we have that massive range we can also defend ourselves somewhat in a close range scenario but don't try to brawl with it the hunchback has massive side, sh side shoulders that can be easily taken away and always have a battle body around you when you're trying to go in because because, um, you know, they will most likely getting targeted more than you will and then you just get to a little bit behind the firing line and you are fine. We also have two jump jets for mobility. We have a targeting computer Mark 1 and we are running an XL Engine 220, which is the highest rated engine that can take... Um, or that brings eight double heat sinks to the table. So we have to fill up with two, so we get to 10, and now the mech is viable. We don't need extra cooling than that, because, um, you know, the ballistics are usually very cold. And if you're getting to a high heat threshold, then I have something for you that I'm gonna show you now. So, let's go in. In terms of skills, we have invested into the firepower tree quite a lot because I wanted cooldown and heat gen. That's the way to keep the mech cold and as well magazine capacity and the enhanced UAC jam duration nodes. That keeps the mech, again, keeps the sustain in the mech and it keeps us going and it makes us shoot fast and often. That's what we need. We're not really big burst damage, we are damage over time builds here. We also have a bit of survivability, a bit of armor, just the left side of the survivability tree here. Um, that just gives us a bit of extra sustain when we're actually getting targeted. Then I was going for a maximum cool run and 60% rated deprivation and here comes the trick. We have double cool shots and that's kind of the thing that you need to keep yourself cold. Or you just take a little bit of a break and stop the firing pattern and then you are good to go. We also have two artillery strikes that are helpful and that's kind of the build, guys. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing Polar Highlands and we are playing skirmish and we decided to defend our spawn and we are setting up a firing line without peeking and I hope that uh, our plan here in general is that we hope that uh, people are getting close and they are trying to probe our position and then we're gonna give them hell so that's the plan we sadly do not have any ECM and I hope that our Benji is not giving our kind of position away but we will see how this goes I mean we need intel on the enemies we need to know when they are coming from which direction they are coming and uh, I mean, if they are coming at all so, as much as I want to peek and use my 700 meters range, it is the right thing to stay in the low ground. There's a guy already. Okay, so we know that they're here, spotting them, so that we know where they are going. And yeah, they are kind of kind of going in there. I mean, they have, they have seen us. Yeah, he's, he's running away. But yeah, let's see if that works. If, let's see if that firing line position is actually beneficial to us or if we are dying because of, I don't know, reasons. I want to check if something is close by at the building there, but there's none. Man, this is so cool. We are also kind of spread out. That's great. Because that gives us some uh, positioning benefits here. We can maneuver. We have enough space to... Yeah, we have enough space to maneuver. The question is though, again, when will they come? How will they engage? What is their battle plan? And um, can we actually hold this here? Can we hold this without getting killed? Our madcat is kind of peaking. I mean, they know that we are here anyway, right? I don't know. Probably. Do we want to engage that guy? He is in a perfect range for us. Where's the Timberwolf looking at? I don't know. Yeah, there's this one guy trying to bait us out so that these guys can get a lock. Okay. There, there's a Charlie dude. There is a Charlie dude that I want to hit, actually. But again, they know. Mm, not good enough. Let me try to get high ground here. Let me try to actually uh, get a bit of cover and peek above. Because that's what we are really good at. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, I'm here we go. Just get as low as possible. Oh, there they come. There they come. Ah, so, I'm going to stay with my with my Timberwolf. Uh, sure, why not? We can deal damage there. And so far, we didn't really take any return fire. There's a strike coming down. It's good if they're using all of their artillery already. So, that's brilliant, actually. 
Good, good, good. I mean, there's a guy. But shoot on sand source and try to hit something at 800 meters. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You don't get it and get killed, dude. Okay. I think. You know what? I'm gonna peek against the king crab. Oh, what? What's that invisible wall? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, he has a guy all the way in the back. We can pepper him a bit. Dealing a tiny bits of damage there. There's a guy, that's a king crab. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. This is kind of our perfect range here. Uh, hello. It's a Lerm a Mad yeah, Dog. Yeah, they're going left side. So prepare uh, for impact. Brace, guys, brace. What about that Banshee? So far, I, I see somebody behind this area. Good, get some damage on the Bravo dude. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna peek that. Because he's kind of alone. Mm. Hello, Vapor Eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, but staying in the low ground. Oh, incoming missile, that's bad. Let me try to dodge it. Oh, 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 they have a spotter. They know. Yeah, it's still following me. There's somebody behind us. We have a spotter in our backs, guys. Fox uh, 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good job, man. Yeah. Honestly, well done. I'm gonna engage that guy, though. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill that cicada, because if that guy is off the board, then we have a great benefit already. Let me go. Good. It's a bit laggy, I gotta say. I don't know if that's kind of the um, the map or or my, my, my server or whatever. All right. Um, I will not pursue any further. I'm gonna regroup with the team. That's more important. However, I can say that. Yep. I mean, we have uh, we have an incredible range there. Okay, okay, okay. So the cicada should be here again. I think he's gonna regroup with his team in the Gulf Seven area or trying to push through here. So we gotta keep a keen eye on that. And I think it might be in our backs in no time. That's a thing that I don't like so much. But okay, let's focus on the front line. It's an interesting game, guys. It's completely different from what's usually happening. Hello, Hatamoto. No, it's Ilya. Okay, good to know. So, I am kind of regrouped with the team again. My arms are smoking. Oh, that's not so good. So, we are kind of giving away our position. Wait, what's that? India? Assault mech? Let me go ahead and get some damage on that guy. Because we can. Is he running pulse lasers and nothing else? Uh, at that range, buddy? You're not really dealing damage. And I'm still afraid of the cicada, I gotta say. I have completely lost track of where that guy went and why and how. Okay. Down to 240 shots. We have actually used half of our ammunition already. So that's good. All right. Yeah, he's running. He's running a Gauss there. Good to know. But here comes the main force, guys. We have to reinforce here on the left side. Uh, the time for poking is over. Is he really still there? <laughs> it's crazy. No, let's go back to the main fight and see what we can do here. We have to, you know, bring all of our mechs to the same spot in order to win this engagement. And that's what we're going to be doing now. Checking this guy for UAVs. No, they still have... They still have a spotter somewhere. I mean, the missiles are flying. Where are they coming from? And why? I mean, I know where they're coming from, but why are they coming from this area? Okay, okay, okay. That's a brawling champion. Close point of combat here. Okay. Let me see if I can poke a little bit. That's definitely a good spot for a UAV. Uh, artillery strike, sorry. U UA, UA strike. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to the left side. It's a battle master that we can technically hit. Good. On the battle master kilo. Good, 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 good. Again, dealing tiny bits of damage here. We had a learn boats. Okay, you know what? This is super interesting because it's so slow and focused here. I love it. I'm gonna drop another artillery strike down there. And now I'm getting shot in the back, but I hope that my friends are kind of helping me. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this here. I'm kind of stuck right now, which is bad. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's coming down there. It's the Muromets. Okay. It's my arm down. Let's keep going, guys. We are in a four and one situation. This is so crazy. I've not had a fight in ages that went down like this. Um, 78 shots though. I think one of our ultras is... I wanted to say destroyed, but it's just jammed, so that's good. Let's go in here. Good. Getting a kill. 
Hey, buddy. Down he goes. Eight and two. Guys, it actually worked out. You know what? I'm just going to focus down these guys. We are down to six shots anyway. So might as well just go all in. And I'm out. All right. No okay. weapons anymore. Well done. That was great. Right, what we got left? We got that, that was really good. Did you get the cicada earlier? Well done, everyone. No, it's probably just a cicada. Yeah. Uh, if I was a cicada, I was here, I think. Or I would be here in this area. Um, I don't know. There was a dire wolf with the gauss earlier, but he was very far away. I don't know if he has uh, reconnected. 11. Oh, Lima 11, Annihilator DC. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, he is disconnected. Okay, 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 okay. Lima 11? Where the hell is that? Oh my god, all the way on the other side. Alrighty, guys, that was a good round. That was a bit unfortunate that they were missing out on an Annihilator, but I want to say our plan of defending the spot actually worked. So we don't have to go to the center and meet there and then, you know, circle around each other. We could hold the firing line. We were dealing some very good early damage and we were kind of finishing it. Also, I'm gonna make a cut here, so we're gonna see each other in the end screen. Right, our fast movers had made it to the front line and they are kind of destroying the annihilator. So, good job, guys. That was a fun mission. That was really cool. It was very refreshing doing something else than the usual NASCAR, and I was having a great time here. Now, the question is, what could our little hunchback do to the enemies? Let's take a look at the numbers in the end, and then we're gonna go over to the second game of today. So, let's take a look, guys. We did. First of all, we won the game. That's pretty good. Secondly, um, we had 1,060 damage on that. Holy crap. I mean, yeah, we were kind of uncontested and we have actually used our range advantage. We could shoot the enemies while they were not really able to shoot back to us. We took 228. We got one killing blow, two kill most damage dealt and eight assists and we destroyed four components. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Robolite Oasis and we are playing Domination. So I want to go to the high ground. I want to meet up with the rest of my assault mechs that are kind of in a low ground situation there. But you know what? I want to see if I can use my amazing range of about 700 meters to deal some damage over time while the enemies are trying to get in position. And we're going to try to soften them up so that we have it a bit easier later in the brawl. So range advantage is good if you can throw it around early on. Later in the game when the battlefield has tightened a bit, it's not that big of a deal anymore then you know more efficient burst damage comes uh, into play and we don't really have that so again damage over time means engaging early engaging often and that's what I kind of try to get here while moving a little bit more to the front line okay 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 um do we take the ramp I think we will so let's go ahead and see what's coming I mean they are light max this is kind of hard to hit there especially since they are kind of positioning themselves and, and moving around and doing all of that so I'm gonna set up here Hey, little one. Ah, almost, almost. Okay. I'm gonna set up here and then we're gonna wait for the big guys to come. I hit him. I also took a PPC shot. So, now, the big... Oh, that's where he is. Okay, got him. Understood, understood. I'm gonna try to absorb it with my arm or just absorb it altogether. I have a problem with my side torso, though. Okay. Through the legs. I wanna drop, actually. And we dropped. Cool. Great. So, <laughs> that's not an option there. I mean, obviously, we traded some hits, and I think I was on the more on the receiving end than on the giving end here. So, that's not so good. What are we trying to do now? We're gonna regroup with the team. We're gonna try to support this guy and the big guys here that are hopefully attracting some fire while we can release our damage um, relentlessly at our enemies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's not gonna be a thing. Uh, enemies are on the left side, um, and we're gonna try to... It's that oh my freaking god that will be here uh it dropped a panic artillery strike i hope it's not hitting my friends good got some damage in guys artillery coming down look at the red smoke watch it and it's fine we have a supernova a missile supernova yeah completely clueless and he's getting pushed by us big time so let's go for him actually let's go for the wolvie because it's a better target the supernova is actually taken care of already. There's a Yendo Wan as well. As well the, as the back of a gargoyle? Hey, gargoyle. Wow, this is escalating. Crazily. You're gonna get his back there. Got your back, buddy. Speaking of, Centurion, down. Wow, we were obliterating these guys. Great job, guys. Very well done. Um, How should we go about this here? Okay. Oh! Got some damage on the spiderling there. 
And I think it's time nice to push kill. up. It's a risky maneuver because these guys will probably uh, eliminate us. But hey, let's just go. Still there. Just shut down. Not anymore, though, because now he's dead. Hey, brother. He no, you're an LRM guy. Okay, good. I mean, we're gonna try to just open him up. That's the cool shot. Okay, nobody else is here. Oh, man. Die, Timber. Die. One more. Got him. Perfect. Next up, uh, on the high ground, there were some people still. I mean, there's a Fafni getting shot. But, oh, yeah, there he is. Hello, Shadowhawk. You are not damaged at all. Thank That's you. bad. I want to try to turn around here, presenting my other side and having somebody push the Shadowhawk in return. So that we are... Here, this is one of the best scenarios that I can describe for why I love Raider Deprivation. I was going around the corner. I was breaking locks. Good game, the guy was pushed by somebody else. He's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Targeted him. I came back and then I was safe to continue my damage without taking the fire from the Shadowhawk. Just breaking line of sight quickly, then coming back. That's the way to do it. And we got three killing blows, we got five assists, we got four kill most damage dealt, 700 damage done, 211 taken, with five components destroyed. This hunchback is fun, I gotta say. You have some great range early on, uh, but if you need to, you can actually throw some ducker at close range as well, if you are not targeted by the enemies. Guys, that was your daily dose for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you want, you can also support me, there is the link to my Patreon page in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.